Unfortunately, this is not an announcement for the release of Tenkaichi 4, but Budokai Z does have a lot of potential. This game is pretty much a huge upgrade from the previous game Budokai. Just from playing for one day, I could already see major improvements on a lot of the aspects of the game. The intro is an interesting cinematic scene featuring Goku and Frieza. The way you start your journey is also different from the previous game. You begin with the fortune teller revealing your race, gene, and aura color. These are all changeable through rerolls. The only thing I wouldn't suggest rerolling is the genes. There's also four other character slots you can purchase for only 175 Robux, which is 25 Robux cheaper than having all accounts. I honestly wish there were more slots so I could use all the different types of races, but I guess five slots is a good amount. I also have to say that the character customization is a lot better than the previous title. Also, certain races and genes do have more customizable options than others. Mostly in the hair category, but adding the color wheel is a good touch compared to the set colors beforehand. So far, there has only been one problem I ran into with customization. And I don't know if it's because when you start the game you are 5 years old and short, but the clothes I had on would phase into my body making one of my legs visible through the clothes. I don't know if it's because my Sphinx was wearing Saiyan armor or if it's just because he wasn't max height yet. But I ended up changing clothes and the problem didn't occur after that. Other than that one issue I had, being able to have freedom with your customization is still a big win for this game. It not only makes you more attached to your character, but it also adds originality so that almost everyone looks different. Instead of how most games on Roblox just randomly generate your avatar for you. Now something I do suggest is always get clothes and accessories with your character. Even if you don't want to use them now, if you change your mind later on, you'll have to buy them with Zenny instead of getting them for free in the beginning. That's something I didn't know going into the game because previously you could customize your character from the title screen whenever you wanted. But I do like this new way better than the previous one, it gives you alternative uses to spend your Zenny on. Combat is by far the biggest improvement from the previous Budokai game. And not to hate on the old game, but that was honestly the reason I didn't find myself playing the old game more. Combat was just too buggy, stiff, and boring, but I can confidently say you won't find any of those problems with Budokai Z. I'm not saying the combat is perfect, because you can definitely cheese the counterattack on NPCs and even newer players. It definitely gives you the edge in a fight if you mastered the timing down. But besides that, once you unlock some skills to pull off combos, it gives combat a better feel than the original Budokai did. I honestly don't remember how long limit breaks used to take in the other game, but the first wall I hit felt like it took forever. I think that's because of the lack of content in the game at this time. There is no way to improve the speed without weighted gear or using the gravity machine and time chamber. One of my favorite new mechanics added to the game has to be flying through space. Some races can enter space without space pods or space suits, but using the pod gets you places a lot faster. But the reason I like this new mechanic so much is just for me thinking about the possibilities that can happen with factions. Imagine having an all out war between two fighting factions in space. Also getting rid of the loading screens and not having to wait a set amount of time to get to another planet is a lot better. It gives the player more freedom to traveling the universe. The only thing I didn't like was the pod controls with flight. They are a little janky but that's a minor problem that can be polished later on. An annoying problem I found was also just traveling and fighting with certain color auras. As you can see here, the brighter auras just make the character and everything in front of it non-visible. It's not really a big problem outside of the combat, because all you need to do is zoom in. I can say this was mainly the problem with neon colored auras. When I rolled the purple aura, it was more transparent and even in combat everything was visible. In order to get certain items and skills, there are countless NPCs around the planets. They will give you a quest or just ask for money. In return, they will give you items or skills so long as you meet the BP requirements for these encounters. There is also a mastery system for key and melee skills. Basically, you use the skills over and over in order to master them. This will make your attacks stronger and for beams, make them larger as you master them and train to get stronger. There is also some interesting plans for the future. I'll leave the trailer and the game link in the description down below so don't forget to check that out. But according to the Trello, PvP and tournaments will be coming soon. The one thing that caught my attention was the mode for a battle royale. It says 50 to 100 players free for all. All this will definitely be something new and exciting to look out for. Now I'll let you guys decide if this game is worth the 200 Robux. If so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. You guys have no idea how much that inspires me to keep making videos like these. Also leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the game or have ideas that the game is missing. Most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. 
It'll inform you guys when I drop videos like these so you can be the first ones to see them. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.